Today's lesson is on algebra and what we call collecting like terms. You might think of this in America, the money is dollars, which I'm going to call D, and cents, which I'm going to call C. I have six dollars and Mr. Malkin gives me a further three dollars, so I would have nine D. I have five dollars and I spend two dollars. Five take away two is three D. Ah, I have six dollars thirty cents and two dollars forty cents. So I need to keep my dollars and cents separate because they separate coins. Six dollars add two dollars is eight dollars. Thirty cents add forty cents is seventy cents. Eight D plus seventy C. Oh, this one, the signs have changed. I am subtracting. So I have eight dollars. And I lose four dollars, so I've got four dollars. I have sixty cents, and I lose thirty cents, so I've got thirty cents. And that is basically algebra collecting like terms. But instead of D and C, we tend to use A, B, X, Y, or any other letter. This question, I have 6A plus 3B plus 2A plus 5B. I need to keep my A's and B's separate because they're different, like dollars and cents are different. So, 6a add 2a is 8a. 3b add 5b is 8b. Oh, this one's slightly harder because I have a minus sign. So I have 7a. But the minus V is in front of a 5A. So it's 7A minus 5A, which is 2A. I've got 3B, ah, but that's a plus in front of that B. So I have 3B plus 6B plus 9 B. 10A plus 3A, 13A. 2B minus 5B. Oh, 2 minus 5. Oh, that's minus 3. 2 minus 5 is minus 3. 3B. Now, one with a bit of problem solving. You add the bottom two squares together to give a square, uh, the rectangles together to give a rectangle above. But uh, those two rectangles will give that one. These two will give this one. This is a more difficult question. So what do I add to 3a to give me 6a? I add 3a. I've got 4b and what do I... Oh, I must 3b. Oh, so I have to take away minus 1b. Now this, these two rectangles give me that one. 2a plus 1a is 3a, 1b plus 3b is 4b, 
2a, the 3a is 1a. Oh, plus b to minus b. So that's plus 1b. 1, not minus 1, so it's minus 2b.